Hi everyone, it's June 16, 2014. I will link below to all of the articles that I'm going to speak on. Um, this is, this has been posted in activist post today, a video. Armored United Nations trucks moving through southeast of the United States. All right, so some guy caught all of these trucks, brand new armored United Nations vehicles being moved through, I think, Georgia or Alabama. You know, all of those humanitarian crises that Americans witnessed unfolding in other countries around the world, that we so quickly came out and we were going to be sending aid and assistance to all of these people, whether it was a humanitarian crisis brought on by uh, weather or some natural event, or whether it was some tyrannical dictator that we were told were killing all of the people in that country. We thinking that we were the moral, upright, good, generous, wonderful, exceptional Americans rushing in to provide aid, not understanding that many of those humanitarian crises were actually orchestrated by the CIA. Well, now we have it on our soil. The unthinkable, the unimaginable, the thing that the Americans could never ever fathom, which was to live the experience, to live the horrors of these so-called humanitarian crises in other countries, we couldn't possibly think. We couldn't even grasp even just the idea that it could possibly happen here. Well, it is. It's in the beginning stages happening right here, unfolding, brought about, orchestrated by the Obama administration. The tens of thousands of illegal immigrants, children from Honduras and El Salvador and Guatemala, it is an orchestrated event to take down our country. Please wake up, America. Please, please put on your critical thinking cap. It is unbelievable. And the United Nations are going to step in and take over. You know, I have many videos on my channel that I've posted throughout the, oh, the last couple of days. Posted videos on plane loads of illegals being dumped in other states. This one now, flights filled with immigration detainees land in Massachusetts. They're being dumped in Massachusetts. You can listen to this video. It is utterly unbelievable. Deval Patrick, the governor of Massachusetts, being interviewed, has no, no idea about this dumping of illegals. He, the governor of Massachusetts, doesn't know that ICE, ICE is landing in Massachusetts dumping illegals? Really? Wow. It is so unbelievable that Americans still believe the horseshit. And we have a congresswoman now calling on the president to send in the National Guard because it is a really big crisis. Does this congresswoman not put together all of these dots, the facts and evidence that this is an orchestrated event? That Obama has opened the door? That border patrol agents have been told to stand down? that they're not doing their normal duties. They've been diverted from those normal duties to babysit, to change diapers, to serve lunch. Our embassies in Guatemala and Honduras and El Salvador have remained utterly silent while it is known that the message in those countries getting out publications, the news publications, are saying, send your children over to the United States because the door is open and they will be taken care of and they will be shipped to their parents. This is an orchestrated event and it is very, very dangerous. It's the Mexican cartels that are helping these children go through Mexico and cross the United States border. Gang members are being allowed in, border patrol agents have been speaking out saying, we're letting gang members in. We're told to let them in. No one is being vetted. You know, 
it's so hard to argue the obvious over and over and over again. Many of these illegals are crossing the border with serious contagious infectious diseases and they're being shipped around the country. This is a very good article. I will link below to all of them. Look guys, the only thing that we have left to do, we, we don't have any option. We've got to keep trying to wake up these Americans who are just thinking now we've got this humanitarian crisis here in this country and oh my god I can't believe that all of these children are just kind of coming over and getting past the border patrol oh and we have to take the reason why they're sending all of the children is because that pulls the heartstrings of Americans oh of course now we have to take care of these 35,000 35,000 on average, a month crossing the border. And our border patrol has been told to stand down. And they can't see through this bullshit. Oh my God. We're not taking care of our veterans. We're not taking care of the Americans. Americans are suffering. And we are just opening the door. It is a script. Please do the research. Educate yourself. Educate yourself. This is, this is the obvious, bold plan of tyrannical leaders to just overload the system and bring countries down. We've done it all over the world. Now we're doing it to ourselves. Well, what goes around comes around. And if you like it, then do nothing. If you don't like it, please circulate the information. Please try to slap silly those Americans who are still <sighs> snoring. <laughs>